Hi guys, welcome to our channel. So today we wanted to make a video about because the, today is like a Mother's Day and we would like to speak, you know, our stories about our mothers and family. And yeah, we just feel like it would be really nice to speak about it because, you know, we really love our mothers and how we grew up and everything. So yeah. Yeah, so this so. is basically dedicated to our mothers and obviously all the mothers out there. So yeah, Aki will go first. Yeah. So I don't know, I feel like I grew up without father. My father died when I was like one years old and I grew up with my mother and sister. And like she put so much love in my life. I never like, have that feeling that you know, I miss my father that much. Like I just don't have feeling how is because I was like too young when my father died. So I just don't have that feeling how is it when you have like father in life because my mother put like all her energy and everything, you know, all the love, you know, in keeping me and you know it just it was just something special and you know just taking care of you and your yeah, sister and like it you didn't even feel like the space for dad because she played both roles. Yeah, it, it was really, really, you know, the best love that you can, like, experience when she, like, take last penny that she have, like, last money to give me to buy some clothes and stuff like that, you know, it was, like, the love is unconditional and, like, In other words, that, I keep spoiled. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, just, like, she love me just too much, it's crazy, I'm so happy, like, that I have her in my life, you know, like, to experience that love. And now I'm happy that I can, you know, help her, uh, show her my love, my appreciation, because I really hope one day, you know, I can't wait to have kids also, you know, that I can also show them like that, that love, it's like, she mothers, like there's no baby other explanation than like, when you feel like the love that they give you, it's, it's something special, you know, so. So I have almost the same I grew up without my dad um, he's still alive and very well <laughs> um, I don't have a relationship with my dad but uh, my mom like she is the strongest woman I know I know everyone talks like that with their mom obviously because they have so much strength like moms are just out of this world like out of this world sorry I just feel like even for me, like I never felt like I don't have a dad. Well, I do have a dad, but I never felt like I needed the other parent in my life because my mom worked so much for the three of us. And she took care of us, like she tried so much to provide every, every single thing that we needed. Obviously there were hard times, but she made sure we never go to bed hungry. She always worked hard, like even if it meant working like night shifts and like she is a strong woman like I don't know how that woman did it like my mom used to sell like you know those snacks like um, chips and like you know just to make sure that she provides for us and I really really appreciate it and like now that I'm older you know when you're younger you don't appreciate yeah, don't a lot understand. of stuff like you always want to complain oh I hate my mom because she doesn't want to buy you shoes she doesn't want to buy you this but when you grow older like you really 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 appreciate it because at the end of the day if my mom didn't give us that love that she did we would have grown up to probably be like drug addicts alcoholics prostitutes you know because if you don't have I love from the home, but baby, a lot of people that don't have love and guidance <laughs> from the house yeah. grow up to be yeah. not useless. I don't want to say useless, but they grow up to be non-productive yeah. individuals. Always, I feel like you only have two choices, and this is what I wanted to speak also about. Like, if you know, there's some of you who don't have like father or mother. That doesn't mean you need to be bad in life, you know. Yeah. Or you have like father and he's bad, or you have stepfather and he's you know bad to you or stuff like that. I think that should just make you stronger because I had in my life good and bad examples. My mother was good, I had other bad examples and that didn't make me be a bad person, they just show me what I don't need to do in my life, like all the bad stuff, you know, if you have like a stepfather and he's doing the bad stuff, he's not uh, showing you love, all the things that you want and he's not doing, 
that's good because now you know what you're gonna give to your child yeah you know? I'm not saying like every person that doesn't have love from their mom or from their dad will got to be like a useless individual I know but there's but a, I'm just a saying the, yeah. like a lot like not a lot but some people choose that path because it's the easiest way out and because they don't have guidance they don't have love they choose that type of way obviously there's people i have friends that grew up without both parents but they're working they have jobs they're happy you know they have houses they have cars like they are successful individuals they have an education and all of that stuff but it's just I don't know. It, it also, I guess, it depends on how strong you are as a person. It's just I feel like how you grew up. Even there's like some people who have both parents, but then still like the parents not putting enough attention, and they're still going to do bad stuff. I feel like if you have something like that happening, you should see all the bad stuff that you want that they're not giving to you, and instead of doing the bad stuff, you just take and do opposite when you have your life and you have a girlfriend or boyfriend. All the stuff that you didn't, that you wanted to have, and you didn't have, you can just give it. You know. Same, like when you plan to have kids, you're like, oh, I want to provide for my kids what my mom never was able to provide for yeah. me. Because you always want to make things better. But yeah, I really appreciate my mom. Like, if you're watching this, mom, I really, really, really love you. I can't wait to see you again, and I'm just like so appreciative. Like, you don't even understand, like, the love I have for my mom, you guys. That woman is my rock. I love you, Nyak Tan, the Inkliza Mionke. Oh my god. Um, yeah. And Me too. Yeah. I, just, I just feel like that. And I also want to say to my mama that I love you. Volim te puno, ti si mi sve na svetu. And uh, like, I, I tell her like every day because I'm just so like I, i'm just so scared she's not gonna know some like every day when we speak i'm telling her that i really love her and i really really appreciate like everything what she like she she don't have life um her life like all her time she put in me like whatever i need like that's crazy you know and i'm just i can't wait you know stars you know she's gonna come now soon you're gonna make video she's gonna come to me she's gonna come to me she's gonna come to visit us it's gonna be great and uh, yeah you know i just can't wait that i can you know show her some love and you know like she deserves it so in a few weeks yeah. we're gonna see mama I love her i'm gonna do her makeup and so more things back. <laughs> yeah. and guys aki's mom looks exactly like aki yo will be shocked <laughs> they look like twins and she's exactly crazy like the same me. person like, my mother is like very, very calm when you see but she's like the most crazy <laughs> she was crazy more crazy than my father you know she's like i think your sister is the crazy i love aki sister she's crazy yeah she hi does. anna <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be nice. I can't wait to do video with our families. It's gonna yeah. be awesome. My mom, I don't know if she'll be able to come or not because she has a heart condition and yeah, yeah we're planning we are planning little by little, you know, first one to come then other yeah. we, we expect also later, my maybe next niece, year. Yeah, my nephew, niece and, uh, and my yeah. sister, maybe later in the year. And brother, of course. Obviously, obviously. obviously. The twin. Yeah and the yeah. better half of the twin. No, I'm the better half. <laughs> and yeah, it's it's just it's gonna be fun and yeah. Yeah, so we just wanted to say to all the mothers out there, um, even our subscribers that are mothers, um, we happy really mother's appreciate day. you guys. Happy, happy, happy Mother's Day. Um, stay as strong as you are and like we just love you. Like yeah, love you, love you, love you. Day, Continue yeah. what you're doing because one day you will see the rewards that um, yeah. you will get when from the, yeah, you know the kids grow up. grow up like just keep pushing you know it's hard especially for the single mothers like our mothers uh but yeah one day yeah and for all the kids be behave yeah behave and don't, be don't like forget a... the mother <laughs> the mother is the only thing you know like that you know that all life every time all the time she's yeah. gonna love you like everybody can leave you everybody yep. You know the friends everybody everybody but mother always there that love like oh my god you know yeah I'm so happy you know and yeah. we are blessed our moms are best friends and we love them 
So yeah, we love you, Mama Togozile, yeah. and we love you, Mama Marina. We'll see you guys see soon. You guys. And yeah, tell us your stories, um, your experiences growing yeah. up with your mother. If you have like, any problems and you want to speak with us, of course, always comment. Yeah. Well, you know, it's always nice to respond and to tell your opinion, and yeah. it's really nice. Yeah. So thank you guys, and once again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. We love you, love you, love you. You guys make the world go round. Booyah! We'll see you again soon. Happy Mother's Day. Bye. bye.